With a yo ho ho, it's Tale of the Toaster. Welcome back to Let's Play Inazuma 11 3. Team Ogre Attacks! In the last episode, we defeated Unicorn, the American team. Now we're going to walk through this conveniently placed gate and it's going to magically transport us to Central Leocot Hospital because unfortunately, our dear manager Cami, Camellia, has been in hospital for a while now. And now her condition appears to be worsening, as we heard last time. So, we best go check on her. This guy will tell you where to go if you get lost, even though it is genuinely just go forwards after speaking to him. Now look what's in this treasure chest. It is the comeback kid. Right after... Right when we're in a hospital with someone who's recovering. Certainly inspiring, is it not? Father, Mark, I remember. I remember everything. B but Camellia... We need a doctor. Fast. N no, Father. It's... it's okay. I don't want to forget. Not this time. Of course, I remember sad things, painful things, but I don't want to forget all of this. I don't want to forget the time I've spent with Mark, with my friends. What do you mean? What are you talking about, Cam Cam? I think it's about time you told us exactly what's going on, Coach Travis. There's something about Cammy you're not telling us, I can tell. But this has gone far enough. You're right, Coach Hillman. It's just that... I lost my memory. What? My real name is Camellia Green. That's right, isn't it, Father? Camellia. You're right. That is your real name. But I am not your father. What? What's going on? After the incident at Cherry Blossom Junior High, I became a teacher in an elementary school. Seven years ago, Camellia moved to my school from Inazuma Town. She was in my class. She was a lively, cheerful student. But then, six months after she joined the school, tragedy struck. Her parents died in a car accident. The trauma caused her to lose her memory. She withdrew into herself, and as I watched her grow sadder and more distant, I made a decision. She had lost her past, but I was determined that she would have a future. I decided that I would become a father to her. So Cammy was at school with Mark. She'd just forgotten it. I'm sorry, Cam Cam. I've been so stupid. You were having such a tough time and I didn't even notice. No, Mark. It's thanks to you I got my memory back. I saw you playing football and it was like nothing had changed at all. That's when it all came back to me. Losing my parents. And there's something else. I remember your grandfather. Huh? You remember my grandfather? What do you mean, Cam Cam? Oi, what do you think you're doing? Get your filthy mitts off me! What was that? There's something going on outside! It doesn't sound good. Mark, we can talk later. I think someone needs your help. And we will check on that immediately. But yes, so... Cammy Travis... And Coach Travis are not biological relatives, which I can hardly believe because they both look so similar. You know, how many people in the world have purple hair out there? But indeed, it's the truth. They're only related by adoption and Cammy's real parents are dead. And her surname is Green, much like Jordan Greenway and also a future character in the Go series who has the Go, the Green surname. But Detective Smith? You're coming with us. You're going to tell us what you know or else. Oh, you can threaten me all you like. My lips are sealed. 
Uh-oh, Detective Smith's in trouble. We have to help him. And we're going to do that through a, a game of soccer, obviously. You know, we've never seen these guys before. They look pretty suspicious and scary, but that just means they can play football, right? So let's give them a good go at it. Uh, presumably they'll cooperate and not kill us or beat us up or something. No, they're going to allow us to score a goal on them, and then that's going to save the day. In Azuma 11 logic, everybody! Oh, I level up Ganymede Ray. <laughs> what a nice surprise! Thanks, I owe you one. I can't believe I let those thugs tail me. I must be slipping in me old age. They were trying to find out how much I knew. Who are they working for? <sighs> What do you mean, Detective Smith? What do you know? Now's not the time, Mark. Look, you shouldn't hang around here. It's not safe. You still haven't heard all Cammy's got to say. I recommend you get that treasure chest that's within view of the current screen. Yeah, good, good, we can. I was worried it was just gonna, like, warp us there. But no, we've got the wish bracelet, and now our next wish is actually to hear the second half of Cammy's story because how can she know Mark's granddad when she's the same age as Mark and Mark has no living memories with Dave Evans? Well, we'll find out. Cam Cam, you're out of bed. Are you sure you're okay? Don't worry about me, Mark. I feel much better. Cammy, I want you to tell us what you know about Dave Evans. My father used to talk about him all the time. He said he was an amazing person, and that there was no one alive who loved the game of football more than he did. That was why he betrayed Ray Dark. It was to help Dave Evans. He betrayed Ray Dark? But how? Well, well, this is a real turn-up for the books. This is exactly what I've been investigating. As you all know, Dave Evans was seriously injured 40 years ago. It was Dark's doing. But a certain group helped Evans flee overseas and made it look as if he died. This group was made up of Mark's own... <laughs> Oh, that's not right. Mark wouldn't plot to kill his own grandfather 40 years before he was born. Dark's own allies, who had decided that he got out of hand and needed to be stopped. One member of this group was called Patrick Green. He was Camellia's real father. Are you serious? This is the first I've heard of any of this. The plot thickens. Are you ready to tell me what Dave Evans is? He's alive! Grandad's alive! I knew it! I just knew it! So Cammy heard all about Dave Evans from her father. That explains why she had that funny turn when she saw his letter. Hold on. If Cam Cam's parents helped Grandad, do you think it could have been Ray Dark who... No, I don't believe so. It doesn't look like he was involved. In any case, there's a lot I need to find out before I say much for certain. I'll be in touch when I know more. Camellia, I don't think you should stay here on Leocot. Head back to Japan and rest. But Father, I want to see this through. Mark and the team have a match. And I'm their manager. As you wish, Camellia. Mark, can I have a word with you alone? I'll be waiting outside. Well, most certainly, my, my dear. We're going to keep the sad music going until we depart to the next floor anyway. Then that's just going to bring it back to normal. Would have been real nice if it carried on, but oh, oh well. Let's just go outside and see what Cammy has to say to us privately. Mark, I can remember the first time we met. I 
was the new kid in school, and the school bullies were picking on me. I was so scared, and so alone. But there was one person who was on my side. It was you, Mark! <laughs> hey! What are you crying for? Those stupid bullies won't bother you again. You're hurt. You look sore. Oh, that. It's just a scratch. I'm fine. You're the new girl, aren't you? What's your name? Uh, I'm Camellia. Camellia Green. Well, I'm going to call you Cam Cam. My name's Mark Evans. Everyone calls me Football Mad Mark. So, you're new in town. How about I show you around? I'll take you to my favourite place in the world. It's this massive tower. It's amazing. But, uh, Cam Cam, you've scraped your knees. Well, don't worry. I'll give you a piggyback. Hop on. I never did forget how safe I felt being carried on your back. Now I know why I feel so safe when I'm with you. It's like you've always been with me. You finally remembered, Cam Cam. It's good to see you again, football mad Mark. It's good to have you back, Cam Cam. So Camellia's lost memory ended up being connected to Dave Evans and Ray Dark. Travis, if you'd known this, would you have picked Mark? Or would you have left him off the team to protect Camellia? No, it wouldn't have crossed my mind. I'm here to win this tournament. End of story. Personal matters don't come into it. She'll be just fine with Mark and his pals. They'll have a good influence on her. I'm certain of it. She'll be back to her old self in no time. Guess it's almost time for you to go, Eric. Fingers crossed the operation goes well. Guys, I'm sorry I let you down. I wanted to be there until the end and lift the cup with you. Listen, Eric, if anyone should be apologizing, it's me. I'm going to be the captain, but I never saw how much you were struggling. Don't worry. I mean, I was doing my best to hide it. I didn't want you guys to worry. Come on, Eric. We're teammates, aren't we? We gotta be there for each other. Listen, if you're ever in a fix back in the States, you know where we are. You got me back, Eric. Remember that. Do you know how hard it was seeing you go through all that stuff and having to keep my mouth shut? You owe me one, Eric. I owe you all one. Okay, quit ragging on Eric. At least until he's had his operation. Then we'll make him promise never to do this again, won't we, Bobby? Ha! <laughs> Don't be too hard on the poor guy, Kruger! <laughs> Thank you, all of you. Now get out there and win this thing! Sure thing! We're gonna make your dream come true, Eric! We're going to make the USA fall in love with soccer. Except the USA only got one in a Zuma 11 game. Clearly it didn't work. Welcome back, Cammy. Looks like you're full of beans. That's totally awesome. It's good to be back. You said you had something to tell us, Cam Cam. Yes. There's something important that I remembered. What is it? It was something that belonged to my father. One of his most precious possessions. It was an old notebook. There was something written on the cover. Dave's final notebook. Dave's final notebook? Could it... Could it really be?